Well, hello and welcome to Serial at Midnight. My name is Heath, and in this episode, we're talking about Superman, the complete animated series on Blu-ray, all three seasons in high definition. It has been an incredible year for Superman. Smallville just celebrated its 20th anniversary. Warner Brothers gives it a complete series Blu-ray package. Uh, Superman the Animated Series celebrates its 25th anniversary. Warner Brothers gives it the full Blu-ray high definition package. Before we go any further, I have to let you know that I was provided a free copy of Superman the Complete Animated Series by Warner Brothers Home Entertainment. The opinions expressed are my own. I love Superman. I love Superman the Animated Series. There's so much to celebrate here. There's so much to rejoice as we dive deep into what this includes and what this doesn't include. It's missing some things from previous DVD releases. We're going to get into it in just a second. Why do I love this series so much? I love comics. I love Superman. I'm sporting my Superman, the, the Super Museum from Metropolis, Illinois. What a great place. There's a video. We shot a video there. I'll reference that in the description of this video. Um, I just love Superman. I think that it's uh, the, the whole lore, the Kryptonian mythology. It is just so much fun. And uh, this series really captures everything that I love about Superman. You know, Batman the Animated Series, a few years earlier, revolutionized cartoons. It won Emmys. It's one of the most celebrated, heralded animated series of all time. The creators from Batman the Animated Series bring that approach to Superman just a few years later. And you would think, well, you can't really do that because Batman and Superman are two completely different characters. They're, you know, We've been talking about this in some of the videos here lately on this channel. Superman representing one side of the coin, Batman representing the other side of the coin. This captures, it has darkness. There are some tremendously dark episodes. There's some really tearjerker, heartbreaking episodes here as well. But Superman remains a constant throughout this series. It is wonderful. Let's talk about the voice casting, right? Let's talk about Tim Daly as Superman. Dana Delaney as Lois Lane. Clancy Brown, the Kurgan Highlander, as, as Lex Luthor. Um, I, have, I have notes here because I don't want to miss, don't want to miss a thing, as Aerosmith once said. Uh, Ed Asner as Granny Goodness, that wonderful Jack Kirby New Gods created character. Um, what perfect casting for Granny Goodness, Ed Asner. Ron Perlman, Malcolm McDowell, um, <laughs> William H. Macy. Did you guys know William H. Macy did a voice in Superman, the animated series? Ted Levine. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm the lambs. She looked like a great, she looked like a great big fat person. It was a terrible Ted Levine. I fried my voice <laughs> to doing the excited pitch for this. Um, Listen, this series is so great. It captures so much of Superman history, comics history, movie history, goes all the way back to the Fleischer. There's a series of cartoons from the 1930s, some of the first uh, Superman ever seen anywhere. The Fleischer cartoons, the Fleischer Brother cartoons, Superman um, doing tremendous things and deeply rooted in the 30s, that Art Deco style, Art Modern, like the 1933-1934 World's Fair, right? The Chicago, the rounded buildings, just this that particular style of architecture so rooted in that Fleischer Brothers uh, style, those animated sh shorts from the Fleischer Brothers, which then t uh, Bruce Timm and his team used as an homage in Batman the Animated Series then brought it over to Superman, so it comes all the way full circle, gets filtered through a modern modern lens and comes right back to where it began. This is Superman for all seasons. This is timeless Superman, and it is finally getting the presentation that it deserves. How do they look on Blu-ray? They look really good. I think the opening credits are upscales, because it doesn't look as crisp as the episodes themselves. It seems a little bit darker, maybe and just a little bit softer. You can kind of tell when Bugs Bunny takes a bite out of his carrot at the beginning of, um, by the Warner Brothers shield. Just looks a little fuzzy. Um, all that goes away when you get into the actual episodes themselves. Um, and you may even notice, you know, this is hand-drawn cell animation. There's imperfections there. There's a lot of imperfections. There's dirt in the, you know, between the layers, the way you'd have to do like the multi-plane camera to capture the animation. It's not perfect. I like that. I like the imperfection, uh, and that is crystal clear here for all to see. Um, let's, let's, let me do this. I'll flip this around for you so you can see the back of the package here. Show you the, uh, it's the same art 
but we have a booklet with the episodes in it. We also have a digital code, which I'm going to set to the side. Uh, six discs is what we're dealing with. And it's a little bit confusing. I, I was noting this that, let me set this right here, right here. Uh, I was noting in the episode guide that, by the way, I hold. if you wanna freeze frame that, go ahead. I'll wait. But I was noticing, so, minimum episodes we have eight on the low end eight episodes per disc and then disc six has 11 episodes on the disc disc six is also the disc with all the special features not the commentaries but all the others like all the featurettes and the features and stuff and i'm just wondering why they didn't spread things out more evenly take a disc that has eight episodes maybe give it nine you know, take a disc that's got 10 episodes, give it nine, spread them out. But they've really loaded up disc six. But I got to say, I can't really tell. I noticed no real loss in quality. Um, I will say this. There are, uh, the packaging says uh, five featurettes, uh, revealing commentaries on four episodes. So those of you who have the DVDs know there was there were more than four commentaries. Where those commentaries went, I don't know. They ain't here. And I've gone through each disc. They're not hidden anywhere. There are no special features that are hidden. What it says is here, that's what's here. Um, but there are, on, on the screen, like disc one, episode one, the last son of Krypton part one, says commentary. Well, on the screen, under the special features tab, it says video commentary. But it's not a video commentary. It's an audio commentary. Furthermore, when you click over to, to listen to the commentaries with these episodes, you get the episode in standard definition. So it's there on Blu-ray in high definition, but when you select the commentary track, they've hard-coded that to a standard definition copy. Not sure why. Um, I've seen some speculation about it online. Not for me to say. I'm just passing on. That's what they did. Um, also, Stolen Memories. It says commentary. Well, on the screen, it says video commentary not a video commentary it's just an audio commentary you're watching the episode while you listen to bruce tim paul dini's on some of these the the great you know creator of harley quinn he's on some of these commentaries as well um however disc three episodes uh 21 mixes pixelated mi mixes pi pixelated <laughs> i clearly could not send mr mixes pitalik back to his dimension because i'm not sure i know how to say his name that's you know what how do you pronounce that name Right in the comments below. Uh, that says video commentary, and it is a video commentary. We get to watch Bruce Tim, Paul Dini, all the all the cats uh, talk about the episode while the episode is in a little box in the corner. So we got three audio commentaries and one video commentary. Um, and aside from the commentary and the features on disc six, that's about it. So. I do want to say there is a new special feature for this release. It's called Superman Timeless Icon. It runs 32 minutes and 45 seconds. So I got it down to the second for you guys. 32 minutes and 45 seconds. It is brand new. You can tell it was done during pandemic conditions because there is no on-screen footage of anybody. But they got a lot of people associated with Superman, either through archival audio or new audio. And it's just talking about what makes the character so special. Uh, and they use... It's like a video essay. So many clips from everything that Warner Brothers, own, Warner Brothers owns Superman, right? So it's like the entire Superman archive. There's like cartoons that I'm like, oh, can we get that on Blu-ray? Like what is like the, the 70s, um, some of the 70s cartoons? I'm like, I would like that on Blu-ray, please. You know, of course, the Richard Donner Superman, all eras of Superman get covered in this, but they're really talking about what makes him a timeless icon. Menace of Metropolis, Behind the Villains, uh, that's carried over from previous DVDs. Building the Mythology, Superman Supporting Cast, that's carried over. Superman Learning to Fly, carried over. A Little Piece of Trivia, that's a trivia track for the Little Piece of uh, Home episode. Um, that's on the DVDs as well, so that's been carried over. And then The Despot, Dark Side, a villain worthy of Superman. It's just a look at Dark Side himself. Um, so all of those have been previously released, but they are here. If, it, if I didn't mention it, it's not here. So I wanted to make that very clear. Um, let me consult my notes here and make sure I'm doing, uh, I'm, I'm covering everything I wanted to cover. Uh, you know what? We didn't talk about, I, I, I wrote this down. Did you guys know that the, the theme 
has so the theme is like ba 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 now there are no lyrics for that right but one of the things that i know from listening to john williams being interviewed over the years is that his scores like his score for superman he has lyrics in his head so when it's like superman he has lyrics like in his head that he wrote. So when it goes like, bum, 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 that's Superman. So I think when we get, bum, 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 I think it's Superman, Superman, up in the sky, it's Superman. That's what I think. What do you think it's saying? But the whole theme is like, Superman, Superman, Superman. That's what I think. It's got to be Superman, right? Bum, 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 bum. Three beats, three syllables, Superman. <laughs> and guys, that's going to do it. No, I'm not. We're not done yet. Uh, people are going to want to know, I got uh, some very specifics here. The languages included on this set, we've got English, we've got French, and we've got Espanol. So three languages, subtitles, some of you guys are going to be disappointed. we got English and we've got French. No Spanish subtitles. So we're leaving out a lot. I don't know why. <laughs> I don't know. Because, you know, theoretically, like Warner Brothers discs tend to be region unlocked because they get sent all over the place. But... Um, I guess, I, again, who am I to say? I don't know. I don't know why. Some of my favorite episodes, I just wanted to shout this out really quick. My favorite, I think, episode is the one that maybe maybe, maybe you don't expect this, but it's called, um, let me make sure I'm pronouncing it right, The Prometheon. I love it because it's very 50s sci-fi, a creature on an asteroid sort of a thing, no explanation. Where does he come from? It's almost like Doomsday, probably inspired by Doomsday from the Superman, the Death of Superman story arc. But like, where does he come from? I don't know. Where is he going? I don't know. But Superman has to stop him and it takes up like the whole episode. And it's fantastic. Um, I also like, I wanted to tell you guys, I also like Monkey Fun. But because it's it really like it, it, it gets into the more serious. This is what I'm saying, like an animated series telling a very serious, kind of sad story not backing away from it, but it doesn't compromise who Superman is. And he still does the right thing. And he's never like, should I do the right thing? I don't know. I don't feel like being Superman today. They don't really do that. They don't really do that on this show. So deeply rooted in the comics, so deeply rooted in um, all the villains you guys, they pull. I mean, you got so many of the villains. Villains we'll never see on a, in a Superman movie or a DC movie, right? Probably never, right? But Parasite and uh, you know what I'm not even gonna do it because I could just sit here all day and just I'll be like and then uh, they do this but there's a lot of great stuff they do cross over with some of the other DC characters so you got Superman with Flash you got Superman with Batman bring in like some Green Lantern characters and stuff it's great it was a harbinger of what was to come which is of course Justice League and then Justice League Unlimited living through this era as I did it was tremendously exciting and this remains a high benchmark for Superman creatively, um, just in general. Not, I was going to say like cinematically. No, this is some of the best Superman ever. They have distilled the character down to who he is, just the core of the, the big blue Boy Scout. Uh, but they've made him incredibly human, incredibly relatable as he is. You don't have to apologize for Superman. Just put him on screen and we'll show up for it. Uh, great series. Missing some commentaries, right? Missing a few special features, but making a transition to high definition, getting uh, a lot of a lot of love. That new special feature, that's I was surprised, honestly. I was really surprised that we got that. This comes heartily recommended. As of this recording, it's about fifty bucks. Um, I'm recording this the day before it comes out, so the pre-order price is fifty dollars. We'll see how that changes, but. I'll put a link to where you can order this in the description of this video, probably in the comments too. Um, and if you do click that, you'll be helping Serial at Midnight. You'll be supporting us and getting something awesome. Put this on your Christmas list for 2021. This has been an incredible year for Superman. It's been an incredible year for comic book fans. Uh, and this will this end up on my best of the year list? We will know very soon. Guys, Superman, the complete animated series, available now. Superman! <laughs> Superman! Guys, thanks so much. Take care. Until next time, here's where to go and what to do.